Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is rational numbers and the coordinate plane. Okay, so we're going to be graphing things um, in an x and y coordinate plane. Okay, so this is lesson uh, three seven, and don't forget, all your lessons can be found right there. Okay, let's get started here. There's our common core strand for our awesome teachers and. Our question here is how do we plot ordered pairs of rational numbers? Rational just means any number like a fraction, a decimal, or even whole numbers, or even negative whole numbers, integers, uh, on a coordinate plane. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. A coordinate plane right here, here's a coordinate plane, is formed by a horizontal line. This is our horizontal line, and this is our x-axis right here. And then our vertical line is called our y-axis right here, okay? And so the axes intersect right here at the origin. And so this is at zero. So that's supposed to be a zero, not the letter O. Anyways, I just couldn't fit that in there with all those numbers in there. Okay, so the an ordered pair is a, a pair of numbers, uh, such as 3, 2 over here, that can be used to locate a point on the graph. Okay, so this 3, 2 represents 3 units to the right, 2 units up. Okay. So I'm out in my truck right before school, so you can hear some a lot of traffic and sirens going by. Anyways, that is a fire truck. So the first number is uh, is called the x coordinate. This is our x coordinate. And these are in alphabetical order. This is x comma y. Okay, x comes before y in the alphabet. So this is our x coordinate, and it tells the distance that we move to the left or to the right. Okay, and if we move to the right, then our x coordinate is positive. If we moved to the left over here first, then the x coordinate would be negative. Okay, and then uh, the second ordered pair is uh, the y coordinate, and so positive means we move up and negative means we move down so we could have done negative 3 this way and then negative 2 this way and it would have been over here so um, uh, negative the first number tells us do we go left or right if it's positive we go to the right if it's negative we go to the left the second number tells us to go up or down positive up negative down okay so that origin is always located at 0, 0. We go left and right 0. We go up and down 0. That's what the origin is. Okay, so Mrs. Porter graphed the points on the coordinate plane, and so we want to write uh, the ordered pairs for each location. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, find the ordered pairs of each point. Okay, so we'll start with P right here. To find the, the coordinates of point P, we always start at the origin right there, and then to find the, the X coordinate, uh, it's positive to the right and negative to the left. Okay, since we moved to the left from the origin, we start at, start at the origin right there, move to the left uh, two units right there. So we're going to go two units to the left, and then, um, and then from here we're going to go up. Okay, so um, it's positive if we go up. So we're going to move how many units up from here? We're going to go one, two, three. Okay, so there's going to be uh, three units up right there. Okay. So, point P is located at, now since it's negative, it's negative 2 because we went to the left 2 units, so that's negative, and then we went up 3, so that's going to be positive, so it's at negative 2, 3, okay? So, point Q is located at, okay, so check this out, we go negative, so, so we go to the left, and then down, that's negative also, Okay, so negative 3 for the left, okay, the first number is always do we go left or right, and then from there we go down, so it's negative 3 also, okay? All right, let's do um, uh, points R and point S, okay? So point uh, R, you guys, uh, we go positive because it's 4, and then we go up positive, so that's 3. So so to the right, 4, up 3, okay? And then S is, we go to the right, uh, well, S is straight down, so we didn't go to the right or left, so we went to the right 0 units and went down uh, that negative 2. Since we went down, it's negative, okay? Just remember, um, these are ordered pairs in, in uh, alphabetical order, X, comma, Y, and this number tells us left or right, this number tells us up or down, okay? This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis right there, and this is called the origin right there, okay? All right, 
So uh, make a conjecture about the x-coordinate of any point that lies on the y-axis. Okay, well, we had one right back there. We had point S. It lied on this y-axis right there. Notice about the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate is 0. So any point that lies on this y-axis, um, uh, the x-coordinate of any point is going to be uh, 0. Okay, so explain why 2, 4 represents a different location than 4, 2. Okay, well, well 2, 4, you guys, so the points have different x-coordinates coordinates and different y coordinates this says this says go to the right 2 up 4 this one says go to the right 4 up 2 so let's do this one let's just kind of mentally do this 2 4 so if we go uh, to the right 2 up 4 it's going to be right there and then this one says go to the right 4 up 2 so to the right 4 up 2 would be there so they're just totally different x's and y's so they have different locations all right so let's graph and label the points on the coordinate plane okay so Here's point A right here. So the x coordinate is positive. So we're going to move this number. Remember, it goes x comma y. We're going to move two units to the right because it's positive. Okay. And then uh, the y coordinate is negative. So because of this negative one half, we're going to go down uh, one half right there. Okay. So we're going to go uh, two units to the right and then down a half right there. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and plot that point. It's going to be right there, okay? All right, let's do a few more points here, okay? So uh, we always start at the origin on all of these. Start at the origin right here, okay? Now this is going to get filled up real quick, so there it all is right there, okay? So we're going to move uh, negative, we're going to move 0.5 units to the left because it's negative. So we're going to go to the left, 0.5, and then up 0. So that's what that one's going to be right there. So uh, this one's going to be up uh, 0. So when it's up zero, it's going to be on this uh, x-axis right there, okay? So let's go ahead and plot that point right there, okay? All right, so this one here, let's do C. So we're going to move uh, two and a half units to the right, and then uh, three-fourths units, since it's positive, it's going to be up, okay? So two and a half to the right, and then three-fourths units up, okay? So let's do that. So two and a half to the right, and then we'll go three-fourths units up right there, and then when we do that, uh, we just plot that point right there. And I didn't put an arrow right there because it just gets a little crowded right there, okay? All right, so this one's going to be uh, negative 1.25. So we'll move, since it's uh, negative, we're going to go to the left right there. So let's move negative 1.25 to the left, okay? So there it is. So negative 1 and a little bit, you know, there's negative 1.5. So negative 1.25 is uh, negative 1 and a quarter right there. All right, and then this is negative, so we're going to go down uh, uh, 1 and 1.75, okay, which is 1 and 3 quarters, okay, so from here we go down, there's 1, there's about 3 quarters right there. Let's plot that point, and it's kind of hard to see, so I'll take off those arrows right there, so there it is right there, okay, without the arrows, okay. So describe the location of a point that is po has a positive x-coordinate and a negative y-coordinate, okay? So the point is to the positive x-coordinate means we're going to go to the right, and negative y-coordinate means we're going to go down, so the point's going to be over here, okay? So in the next lesson, you guys, we're going to talk about these things called quadrants. This would be quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4 right there. So this point would lie in quadrant 4 right there, okay? That's the next lesson, though. All right, you guys. Take care.